YouTube this is Trish Erin here and I'm back with another video if this is your first time here thank you for joining me today and welcome back to you if you've been here before so today our topic is going to be kind of fun um, we're just talking about things that I purchased from Amazon recently that I have been saving to my cart and I finally pulled the trigger on them some of these things are things that you know like I just saw and I just thought oh maybe they're nice to have and some of these other things like I really found that I needed while being at home so much right so maybe this um, video will inspire you to grab some of these things because some of them are pretty darn good and then maybe you don't like any of them but you have some stuff in your car that you need to go ahead and pull the trigger on so let this be an inspiration to you because I'm so happy that I finally grabbed some of this stuff okay all right let's just go ahead and get into the video because I just don't know why I didn't have some of this stuff before like I could just title the video. Trish, why didn't you have some of this stuff? And some of this stuff is kind of basic, so let's just get into it. So let's talk about my first item here, okay? The first item is actually really simple. Um, and we, you know, we moms, we definitely have some of this in the cabinets, right? We have a bunch of cereal. <laughs> and so what I was noticing is that my kids are getting older now and so that they can make their own bowl of cereal um, for breakfast on a quick Saturday morning. And what they were doing was leaving the, the, the bag open or they won't, they were not using like the bag clips. And so I had the boxes with the cereal in them and um, the cereal was going stale. So I was like, let me just come up with a solution for that. These. So I got the OXO Good Grips cereal dispenser in the 4.5 quart. I actually purchased two of these. Um, they are easy push open, so even the little kids should be able to operate them. Um, you just kind of like push them open like this and pour your cereal out. So I grabbed two of these because we mainly purchase two types of cereal in our home. So these um, two of these will be good and I buy the family size and so this will be big enough to store um, a lot of that cereal in here. Um, like I said, these are 4.5 um, quarts and they are dishwasher safe and BPA free, which is like kind of important. So this is um, something that I purchased and I just, I just, I, I needed to get it. Um, a lot of people, you know, have already are on the wave of buying cereal dispensers or cereal containers, but I wasn't. I was still keeping the boxes in the cabinet. Um, of course, I wasn't keeping them on top of the refrigerator because that just wasn't a look that I liked. But <laughs> I was putting them in the cabinet and the cereal was just going bad. And so hopefully this will help us keep the cereal a little bit more. I'll let you guys know how it works out. But this is something that was in my cart that I had been saving for later because I got tired of reaching for cereal that was stale. I also want to mention the price of these. The, um, the This was $22. I didn't look like to see if they were cheaper on Target or something. Maybe I'll check that out and pop it on the screen if they are. But I grabbed mine from Amazon. Um, $22 for this size. Of course, the smaller sizes will run you a little bit less. But um, this is... Um, one of my favorite purchases. I can't wait to pour the cereal in there. You'll probably actually see me in some of my clips filling these up and starting to use these in the house. So, so for my next item here on the list, it's also that OXO Good Grips brand. Um, it's a sugar dispenser. Basic, right? I know. I know it is, but I didn't have one, guys. Like, so what was happening was that my mom would come over and we would sit down and drink coffee or tea. And, you know, I'm, I'm pulling out the creamer or the honey like I use and she would ask for sugar. So I ended up having to grab the step stool, reach to the top of the cabinet to grab out my big old great value bag of sugar that's been up there, um, you know, just to give her a spoonful or two spoonfuls of sugar. I did that one too many times and I said, okay, let me go ahead and grab something from Amazon that I could use to store my sugar. And um, this is what I found. I mean, they had some other things that um, were more like jars with a spoon, but I didn't want that. I didn't want to have to deal with a scoop or a spoon. I just wanted something that could easily pour. And this reminded me of like the sugar dispensers that you see at diners and restaurants sometimes. And this was 15 bucks. Granted, 
it is it is glass 15 bucks might be a little bit on the pricier side i gotta believe you can find something cheaper than this but i like the glass and the stainless steel it is a 12 ounce capacity easy open spout for controlled pouring and it's perfect perfect for keeping sugar close at hand that's exactly what i needed i needed to be able to grab the sugar and hand it to somebody who came to visit who needed sugar so this is what i got so the next item that i purchased um is because of my latest coffee obsession <laughs> like since i've been home i've just been on this big coffee kick where i'm trying out different creamers and everything and so i recently grabbed um this from amazon these are glass double walled insulated mugs of course they're clear and they are aesthetically pleasing when you fill it with your cup of coffee um, i've been seeing them on instagram and i added it to my cart a long time ago and i've even had friends tell me that they purchased theirs and i just still had so um when i was going through and trying to clean out my car i was like let me just go ahead and grab those mugs because i do like them i think if you're drinking tea if you're drinking coffee or even hot chocolate with like some whipped cream on top and some chocolate chips oh as like a garnish this would be really really cute um a cute drink to just sit you know one of those snow days or um you know any type of type of cold weather day where you're just kind of like snuggly and you can enjoy this the good thing is because it's double walled um it doesn't feel warm when you grab it when it's filled with a hot beverage so that's good i grabbed a set of these for $24.99 from amazon and they're just cute really i mean i have mugs but i just thought these were cute so i added them um well they had already been in my cart to be honest with you but i just went ahead and purchased them i pulled the trigger and um got me a set of the clear mugs the next thing kind of goes along with the um, previous item and that is um, some silver espresso um, spoons. Now these are just the cutest little things and I just like them because they have like this little cute little shape. Um, the cutout and the spoon and it's just the perfect size to just you know stirring the creamer in, um, in my coffee and it's just perfect. It's just cute and you can even like use this little notch in it to sit it on the side of your mug and they're just super cute it was a set of six of these um and they were nine dollars so they come in all different colors i have silver because it kind of matches more of um the appliances and things in my kitchen but they have gold rose gold i believe i think i even saw like a matte black set so these are cute they come in different shapes, but this was the one that I just thought was just too cute not to grab. So it had been in my cart <laughs> and I just went ahead and purchased it. So there you go. Okay, the next thing is something that I think we pretty much are all using at this point point we're all we all use some type of cooking oil right and I think a lot of us have switched over to using extra virgin olive oil in a lot of their a lot of our meals and um what I was doing was buying the extra virgin olive oil and transferring it to um some oil and vinegar dispensers like I wasn't using vinegar but I was using two types of oil olive oil and an avocado oil Oh my goodness have you guys tried avocado oil if you have tell me what you think about it in the comment section below because i absolutely love a couple av avocado 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 oil so um yeah so what i would have on my counter was two glass dispensers with um avocado oil and extra virgin olive oil in there and one of them broke and i was just like oh now i don't have a matching set so when i went on the hunt trying to find another one um to replace the broken one and i came across this little thing here this is a oil and vinegar dispenser that cost me 22 dollars but it's the nifty thing about it is that it's a press and measure so you store it you know the storage for your oil is down at the bottom right but at this top it's like a little measuring cup with a spout and you press this thing here and it sucks up the oil into this cup you know and you can one two three teaspoons tablespoons whatever you need it's right here if you want to do milliliters it's on the other side I mean how cute is this it's really cute so 
I grabbed this to store my oil in and I just again I used the silver one because it just kind of worked for me um, but yeah I like this and the top won't fall off because the other set that I had my husband would complain that that the top would kind of fall off I mean it was a cheapy cheap set that I grabbed um, from somewhere <laughs> I think it was at home that I grabbed that set but this again it was in my Amazon cart since the other one broke and I hadn't actually purchased it but finally I went ahead and I think I'm really gonna like this I've seen other um, people here on YouTube talk about this and they seem to really love it so hopefully um, I will enjoy using this um, for my oils I just want to say that the links to everything will be in the description box below you know how we do it here I try to put as many links as I can down there for you in case you get inspired and you want to grab any of these things um, that you see. Um, I always like to have some type of link down there for you because sharing is caring, right? Alright, on to the next one. Okay, so the next thing, I got some, I got quite a few kitchen items here, guys. Um, so, bear with me, okay? So the next thing um, are these glass seasoning shakers here. Um, I got a set of four. The, of course, these are just two of them, but I got a set of four. They're glass with the black tops. They have um, a shaker side and a bigger side if you want to pour. Um, but I needed these because I have been purchasing some um, some seasonings from somebody I found on Instagram. Her, I think her line is called Dash of Daisy. And some of those seasonings are amazing. Uh, but they didn't come in jars. They come in cute little pouches. And I just found that we were using too much of the seasoning trying to pour it out of the pouches so I was like okay let's just stop being crazy and get some dispensers so that's where these are from I'll try to pop up a picture of her seasonings and the, the way the pouches look and so then you can see why these were necessary on Amazon they have a bunch of different um, jars um, like little shaker containers that you can use I just grabbed these they have the black top I just thought they would be better um, for what we have and I thought they were a cute little shape so I grabbed these a set of four of them let's see sorry I have notes here so the set of four of these were eleven dollars okay I think they can come in two and even larger like if you have more seasonings um, I just purchased a couple of seasonings from her so I just got the set of four. Oh my goodness the salt and pepper blend is so good <laughs> So I can't wait to her next launch. This is not about her seasonings, but I just wanted to tell you about the jars and the fact that, you know, I'm trying to give you some more seasoning. So if you're looking for some, check her out. There is also um, another seasoning company that's black owned that I like. There's also a brand called Spice Living that I like, a black owned company that you, that makes their own, that sells seasonings. They come in jars already, but um, they come in containers already. So. You, you won't need these for these but they're also really good check them out too if you're looking for seasonings okay okay so the next item plays right into the coffee obsession that I've developed now um, a couple of years ago actually 2019 Christmas I got an espresso maker so I had a Keurig that we were using for all kinds of drinks tea and everything else but um, it broke right so I had to replace it and so I got an espresso maker I actually have grown to really like this machine first it was just sitting up there to be cute but then I started using it a lot more with the whole you know stay at home order <laughs> in 2020 so I you know was buying a bunch of boxes of the pods to make different coffees and different flavors and you know when I'm on the website I'm like oh look at that look at that flavor Ooh, look at that flavor oh hazelnut oh oh cookie oh like you know all these different um, flavors that they had and I just had to try so many of them so that meant I had a big old box shipped to my house full of little small boxes of all the espresso pods what are you gonna do with these pods Trish like what are you gonna do with them so now I got all these boxes of coffee pods and I don't know what to do with it so I found out that you could get some cute little storage for all the pods wait a minute I actually need to order some pods hold on I'm running low okay now that I ordered my pods let's get back to talking about the storage container that I purchased so I got a tempered glass drawer that goes underneath 
of the Nespresso machine and it stores up to 40 big pods or 52 of the small pods. OMG, I'm so excited. I cannot wait to get this thing in my kitchen um, and start using it. So what it actually is, is it provides um, a storage space for all of your Nespresso pods and you can sit it underneath of the machine. So you sit the machine on top, you have glass, you can look down at the perfectly lined pod. If you have a Keurig machine, I'm pretty sure there are options for cute little storage drawers for those as well, okay? So this is something that I needed. I needed and I have been putting it off and putting okay, it so off and so I'm so happy that I finally I decided purchased to it so that I can get those and ugly get boxes off of my counter. <laughs> um, <Okay>. Never before <laughs> had I ever thought that I would be into this but let me tell you being at home for so long you just think okay how can I spice it up around here and so I decided to bring the outdoors in with some indoor plants. I had two actually, um, a fiddle leaf fig and a birds of paradise, and I love both of them. Um, the fiddle leaf fig I purchased from a nursery here, um, local in my area, and the birds of paradise I ordered um, off the Amazon. Not sorry, not Amazon. I ordered it. See, Amazon on the brain. Um, no, I ordered the birds of paradise off of the Home Depot website, and um, I've been caring for it, and I. Um, I love both of them and I don't want them to die. So what did I do? I purchased one of these. It's a soil, a soil meter and it basically measures um, the moisture, sunlight and pH of the soil. And if you have or ever heard about um, these plants, you know that they are very picky. They only want to be watered when the soil is like almost completely dry and um, they, they both require indirect sunlight, like a good amount of indirect sunlight. So, you know, as being a new plant mom, it's been hard guessing and trying to figure it out. So I put this in my cart a while back when I first got the plants um, and I just never pulled the trigger on it. But I still find myself being unsure a lot of times about whether or not they are being watered and cared for properly. So I went ahead and grabbed this. Hopefully um, it will take some of the guesswork out in caring for my plants and keeping them alive. I plan on getting another one. I hear the snake plant is not as difficult to care for as the first two that I started with. Um, so I, I just may um, go for a snake plant that has a little, um, is a little easy to maintain. Either way, I am fully equipped with my soil meter to help me figure out what I'm doing so I don't kill these things because they look pretty inside the house. So I want to keep them alive as long as possible. All right. So the next thing I purchased um, was something that I just figured, you know, that it was cute to have around the house because I do light a lot of candles and I don't really like using cigarette lighters. To be honest, I'm kind of scared of them. So what um what i was doing was buying the grill lighters and of course they would run out after a while but this one is not going to run out this is a rechargeable candle lighter um it's black and sleek it cost 16 dollars. sorry those are my notes again um this cost 16 dollars, and so you pretty much will have it forever because it will not um if it dies out you just recharge the bad boy and keep on lighting candles <laughs> So this was in my cart. I finally went ahead and purchased it. Um, it comes with a charger, of course, and I like it. It's black and sleek and just simple to use. The next thing that I purchased was pretty much just fancy Febreze. <laughs> a linen and room spray. Y'all, let me tell you how long I had this thing in my cart. I had this thing in my Amazon cart since probably April of 2020, and I just purchased it. I'm glad I did, though, because it smells really nice. Air freshener. Um, you can spray it on your bed sheets, uh, spray it on your couch. Uh, it, it's just, it smells nice. It's made of essential oils, and, and it just has a nice, light, fresh fragrance, and I love it. Let's give it a spray here. Hold on. Got a little lock on the side, so let's unlock it. Mm, smells so good. It's so clean and fresh. Like, I do like this scent. It comes in a bunch of different scents. There's one, like a sea salt and something. 
that I may try next, but I wanted to try this one first just to make sure that I like the brand. Um, and I do, so took a while, but now I own the Fancy Febreze. Hey guys, do you watch Shark Tank? Well, I do. My family, we sit around and can watch episode after episode on Amazon <laughs> video. We absolutely love it. And I really enjoy seeing um, items that were pitched on the show in Target or on Amazon. And that leads me to my next item, which is Stasher. Okay, tell me down below and tell me if you saw Stasher, the Stasher episode. <laughs> When I saw this, I said, oh wow, I need to try this. Even though it's a $10 storage bag, you can do a lot with this bag. It's microwave safe, dishwasher safe, fridge friendly, oven strong, up to 400 degrees. Um, and you can even cook with it on the stove top. I purchased it mainly because I wanted um, a reusable packaging, some type of reusable storage for um, you know, just store and slice veggies. So I figured I'd grab this. I grabbed the, the sandwich size. It does come in different sizes, but this one was the $10 one. And like I said, it's a Shark Tank product. So I wanted to support it as soon as I saw it. Um, I just, you know, Shark Tank is nothing but a market employee, right? And so I don't buy everything, but when I saw this, I figured I could actually use it. And so I wanted to give it a try to see if it was worth putting more of these silicone bags in my home. They're BPA free. They are not plastic at all. They're made out of silicone, so they're pretty durable. Um, so I'll let you know. I'll come back and let you know if this was a good purchase or not. Um, let me know if you tried it. Have you tried Stasher? Do you try any of the Shark Tank products? Like... It's one thing that I wanted to try on there. Um, it's like uh, for wrapping paper. I think it's called the Elf. I want to try that. I, I didn't. I forgot about it around Christmas time, but um, I'm gonna get one of those because it helps you to evenly cut wrapping paper. So anyway, I didn't get that, but I got the stasher. So. Okay guys, I think that pretty much wraps up. The, those were 12 of the things that I have recently purchased from Amazon. They were in my cart just waiting there for me to click purchase on and I finally did. Okay, like I said, some of this stuff has been in there since the pandemic started. Um, and I had just been like maneuvering around it and buying the stuff that I really needed like vitamins and masks and stuff. But these are the things that I finally decided. Trish, you need those. Why don't you have those? Just go ahead and purchase them. So I did a big old order and I wanted to share it with you guys. So hopefully you enjoyed it. If there was anything that you see here that you would like, believe me, I will do my best to link every single one of them down in the description box below for you. So you can just head on down there after the video is over. Well, after you click like, okay? after the video is over. <laughs> Head on down to the description box and go ahead and check them out for yourselves. Hopefully something um, that I shared here is something that you can also use in your home. Now of course this has been a fun video for me to shoot but we don't need to overbuy in these times. You know I don't need to overbuy. I don't need to spend frivolously but things that I you know have been looking at and thinking about and just found uses for them in my home. I did go ahead and purchase them today and I wanted to share it with you because sharing is caring. That's, that's right guys. Alright so thank you for joining. Tell me in the comment section which things you need or which things that you have in your car that maybe I need. <laughs> you know you, you know the things that we need right while we're at home so just go ahead and share it with me. Share it with all of us here. We're a community here that's developing and I cannot wait to go ahead and talk to you guys in the comments below about all of our Amazon purchases right. <laughs> Alright guys, take care and I will see you next time. Bye!